everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll start here with Jackson. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. They run with Jackson out of the gun. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From midfield, here's Rodgers. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. 3 chop. Working from the gun, Rodgers. This is caught, it's Cooks. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They run on first down with Jackson. And he gets it down to the 32. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. now after the sack he'll lead the pack up on third and long throwing now is Rodgers and that's going to be incomplete 12 seconds left it's now fourth down so on fourth down here's Chris Jones to punt it away And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Let's get out of there. Back to throw, Lock. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Here's Luck. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball. And now they face a third down. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21-yard line. Check out! 
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all or nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Beating the play clock is locked. Rolling to his right. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Holt. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Now Gordon on first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Luck on first down. Dancing to his left. And he's going to keep it here. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. To throw again on second down. Luck sliding out of the pocket. Sets up the screen to Gordon. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They rolled out of the pocket right, and I think he wanted a little something more out of that play, obviously. Instead, he just he hit a safety back. It looked like two well-coached teams there, even though there was no yardage gain, because the offensive guys, hey, they realized their program was out of the pocket. All the receivers went to the right spots, tried to get in his sight line, tried to open themselves up. Just nowhere to go where they could gain yardage. How about the defensive guys, though? Did not lose leverage and kept their poise and made a really nice play. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Here we go on fourth. Rock steps away to his left. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. Well, partner, let's put a bow on the Super Bowl for Kansas City. What a comeback win. Yet another come-from-behind victory for Patrick Mahomes and company. An absolute heartbreak for San Francisco. Didn't Madden predict Kansas City would win the game? Yes, 35-31, I believe they predicted. I felt like most of the predictions I saw had the game in the 30s, so a little bit lower scoring than we expected. But a lot of fireworks down the stretch, all by Kansas City. But how about San Francisco? Had the lead in the ball, under 12 minutes to go, and held Kansas City to 10 points through three quarters. And somehow, they're winging their way back to San Francisco, trying to understand how they lost that game. Yeah, not only did Kansas City win it, but they end up winning it by 11 points. They, they didn't see that coming at all. Hey, Wahoo! Blue there, blue there. 58 on third down, Rodgers looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Holt, and he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have...
have the first. Three, four, four. Oh, hey, hey, watch this, watch this. On first down, Jackson trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. At 58 is a mic. Number 50. Here we go. 58. Hey, hey, hey. High seven. Now it's Rodgers. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Throwing on second and three. Rodgers throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The veterans, Stephon Gilmore, able to break that one up. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. That's caught by Jackson. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Rodgers now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. They'll run on first down. It's Jackson. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Brian Erlacher, the big middle linebacker, in on the stop. They'll run again with Jackson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Open man has got it. It's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to run for it on first and goal. Now defensively here, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Here's Rodgers to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And it's a touchdown for the Packers. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 